Hi everyone, this is Mohit and welcome back to Engineer Stickup channel. In this video, we will discuss one more logical programming interview question. Write a program to find the duplicate word in a string. So in the last session, we have already discussed one more, you know, interview uh, question like find the duplicate character. Here, if you have uh, any sentence, you have to find the duplicate word or you can uh, or you can someone will ask, can you find the occurrence of the word which is available in your a string so in this question we will use hash map so by using the hash map this is the very simplest way so we will go a step by step what we have to do so first steps we have to create a hash map i will take hash map a string as a key and occurrence uh, integer as a occurrence so i did not uh, write here so here you can write value as a string type so i will show in the practical and then we will debug also don't worry in the practical you will get more clarity just i have written the steps so you can you know just remember the things second steps we are converting this uh, you have a one sentence how to a split so we will use here a split method to a splitting data string in your uh, a string type of an array then after that we will use for each loop so for each loop we will iterating here and here fourth step we will count you know word you know which is available so we have a one empty map if object is already there we can add it if you have a sorry if you have an object already then we can add the value occurrence if you not we can simply store so that thing i'm trying to do here is step number four a step number five if the word is not present then putting the word as a care count is one okay so if you are not able to understand this you know uh, theory then we can move in the practical and definitely you are able to understand just keep a patience so step number six getting the set so we will uh, use the key set and we will extract the key value then here we can iterate once and we can put the condition so let's move in the practical part so you will get more understanding so here uh, i took uh, let me close this okay i don't want to save no okay so i'll create one uh, class okay find duplicate word okay and i'm using main method then what i can do i'll create one method public static void find duplicate duplicate word in sentence okay just i'm writing like that s c s c n z that's it so i'll take one a string str and first we can develop the code then i will tell you okay first we are trying to develop the code okay then i will take one hash map hash map and here i will take a string and integer okay so we first we can import this so all the collection which is available in util package so let me sometime this problem is coming so one second map okay yeah so here a string and this is your integer okay then i'm using uh hm equal to new then same uh sorry i'm going to use uh creating the map object and if you just we can develop this code then i will explain you how it will work okay now uh, this uh, string we can cut a split okay so we will use here a split method okay so in a string we having the one method called a split method okay a split and this a split method will return a string type of an array okay so this a split method will return a string str array okay then what i can do this will a split into this so all the value, all the you know sentence like will convert into the a string. Uh, we have converted a store inside this a string array. How by using this a split method? Now I will use for each loop. So a string str. Okay, str array. One second. Str. I'm just writing str array here. One. 
okay just i'm writing str array one and i will use here if you don't know the for each loop please watch my youtube channel okay i have already explained how this for each loop is working then here what i can do i will put one condition hm okay i'm going to put one condition here hm dot contains if this is already present then what will happen if this is already present in this uh then what happened hm dot we are putting this condition and what here we can do uh here we can use uh one uh one second we can use here a uh, put matter so here we are storing key we can write here okay this one and here just writing hm dot get of uh, one uh, okay hm dot one second one second hm dot get off here we are writing here and plus one okay let me verify once hope i am doing correct so i'll just verify here so yeah uh, here uh, we are putting this value then in else block what i can do here in else block we can simply write hm dot put okay one and here just you can simply use this okay i will explain you you know how it will work <laughs> sorry one second uh, put method and sorry i'm writing here wrong so first we will write this one here okay and then it will store one value okay so don't worry if you are not able to understand how we are going to develop we will debug and we can understand each line of the code how it is going to work now we can extract the key okay so how to extract the key so in map we have a method called key set okay so key set will return you can see what is the key is your a string so key set will return uh, sorry set type set a string s a t set okay so now just you have to import the set uh, all the collections are available in the util package now i'm going to iterate once a string set set str okay now i have iterated it okay so here i'm doing something wrong okay a string set uh, what else one second guys uh one second let me check here uh, i'm doing correct right okay here i have to use str set here sorry guys uh, we have to use here set actually when you are using the for each loop right so what will happen here you have to give the new variable name and this variable name i was doing wrong okay but here now what i can do if okay if uh, hm dot here if i will give the h f n dot get off str okay i'm just writing greater than equal to one first we will print all this uh, you know word which is available inside this string okay then each occurrence of this so if someone will ask you can you print the occurrence of each word so we are able to print also and if you are then now i'm going to print this value str plus equal to and now uh, hm dot get of okay so that's all Okay, that's all so let me verify once my code also okay here yeah. so here just we are going to print and now what we can do just we can call this method so this is your static method so static method you can call directly right so just i'm writing here i'm writing the sentence this is mohit or just i'm going to write 
okay just i'm writing this is mohit okay so now if i will print this so let me why this is gone okay so now you can see now i'm going to just verify output then i will explain you and we can learn each iteration you can see now here all this value be having the only one mohit is one and again i'm going to repeat this this seeds okay i'm just removing mohit so mohit is only one times and now i'm going to here so you can see here what happened here the output is coming you know this one okay but i want to only print the duplicate so what i can do just i can remove this uh equal to value equal to only okay so you can see now i'm going to print now we will understand how this code is working okay so just i'm going to put here one debug point okay how to put the debug point just you can do double click and run as in debug mode you can see now i'm going to run in the debug mode i don't want to switch in the another uh, 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 window but this window is easy for you so just i'm going to so now you can see if you are in the debug mode then be having the a step into and a step over so if you will do a step into then you can see this when uh, control will come here then the, it will go the control inside this method so this is your basics java concept and i'm going to you know press you can press f6 or for a step over f6 a step into f5 so i'm going to print f6 so now you can see what is the string input value this is mohit and this is and if i will press f6 so you can see what is the hash map this is your empty hash map and now i'm going to split this uh, sentence uh, using the a string of an array so i'm just going to press you can see now uh, it will splitted all this a string uh, a sentence into the a string type of an array okay so now you can see i have a splitted in a string type of an array and now what i'm going to do i'm going to iterate and putting the condition so what happened here here it will go and we are iterating you can say this value is this is here if we will do mouse over you can see this value it print here and it will check in this map this what is already there or not this what is not there then what will happen this control will come else block because this word is not there in empty hash map right to control will come inside this else block if i will press else you can see now here you can see this equal to 1 okay this is added one again it will go here you can see now this is the another word is 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 there no then again it will come inside the else block you can see now it is added here again you can see now mohit mohit is not there already in map then it will go in the else block again it is added you can see it is added again what is the another word here is is this is already there in the map right so contents key will check this word is already there or not if it is there then it will increase the value one you can see now it will come inside this else if block it is there you can see now and now it is added here so this is to it will not go in the else block again it will go for the loop okay again you can see this is there yeah already there right sorry is is already there so again it will not come here it will come in else block again it will no add the one value you can see so like that we are fetching the you know word inside this map and after that we will extract the key and we can put the condition as per the requirement so if the interviewer will ask you to just print a uh, occurrence then you can just you can do the equal to one also then it will print all the occurrence if interviewer will ask you to so let me come here so now you can see all this key is extracted right so now i'm going to iterate all the key value extracting all the key value 
and you can see now i'm going to press one you can see now it's again here it will counting this you know putting the condition and it is printing the value like that you know it will work okay so that's all if you having the any doubt please comment below and i always uh, in the last of the video i'm sharing my uh, youtube channel so go to my youtube channel you will get many benefits in my youtube channel so press engineer tech hub let me show you okay so here this is my youtube channel guys so many people are struggling for interview question for real time interview question and answer so go to this playlist if you are not working and you are trying to hard to switch the job in the automation or if you are manual tester you are from the different background if you want to switch your career in automation testing then just you can this video will helpful for this just go to my channel engineers tech hub and you can see i'm i'm going to make this you know complete playlist for interview programming question for automation test engineer or developer who is just struggling and this is your interview question for top level of the mnc company you can go through that and many people are are struggling one more playlist is there let me show for real time interview question and answer so if you will go here just i'm going to <laughs> so what the challenges face what is your roles and responsibility how we are working in the real time so we have already explained in how in industry we are working and dot so please go through this channel and please share and subscribe my channel so your your contribution your feedback is very helpful for you uh, sorry helpful for me and and please any feedback and anything is there please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video thank you